Hey there, this is uh, Dr. Graves from the Cal State, Uni Cal State University at Northridge Geography Department. This is a video tutorial designed to help students create a field map survey instrument that they can use or create for other people to use to collect data in the field in which they are trying to create a typology or a categorization system for neighborhood characteristics. So uh, the first thing you need to do is to go to ArcGIS online and sign yourself in. I'm in an incognito window so you can see the whole process. My students are at uh, CSUN, so it's CSUN GIS is our organization's URL. Click continue and then click California State University Northridge to bring up the login sequence. Expect a duo push or notification, which is typical when you sign in for the first time. And so in a minute and 30 seconds, we're in. Now, uh, if you're in my class, I urge you to go to Groups, click on Groups, and from the list of your groups, it's, it's probably shorter, Geography 404 Graves Jedi. So that's the field class. Within this, click on Content, or if you see this redlining walking tour, um, just go ahead and select that. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to open the redlining walking tour map. So click on the link. It is a feature layer. And what you need to do is to create um, your own uh, hosted feature layer. I'm going to click um, open link and new tab here. You don't have to do this. I want you to see basically what this map looks like. This contains the walking path, which is the black line that represents essentially the path that we took in the field. And then there's the parcels map in the background that represent the properties that we were observing or in general. So I'm going to come back over here to the hosted feature layer is what it's called. And I want you to click on down here under layers, Sunset Wilshire region parcels. This is the polygon layer that you want to export to yourself. So click on export data and from the list, um, select export to geo package. You could probably use a shapefile or GeoJSON or something else, but we're going to do this. Rename it. I'm going to rename mine gravy parcel package. So I know that it is a geo package. Uh, you could add tags and a summary to it if you want and save it. You can save it in your root folder, but if you have, for example, a class folder set up for 404, maybe that would make sense there. Click export and wait maybe as much as a minute, depending on um, the next step here. Make sure you click uh, publish and save which makes it a document that can be shared out onto the web into something like either a web map or as we're going to see later a field map app. It's creating the service now which makes it a sort of online version of the map. Okay, that took about 30 seconds and what would you want to do is open it in map viewer next we will make an actual map from the layer and there it is. And notice that the layer style is to something that's generic and if you wanted to add a field of some sort, maybe area or some kind of um, zoning 
and you'll get a new uh, color. So this is the zoning map, for example. Um, the other thing that you might want to add is a layer. So I'm going to add a layer from my contact or I could go to groups and you could if you wanted to add the walking path and the parcel map that we started with. So um, once I have that, I can click on the back button here. You don't really even need to add that, um, but if you want to, you can turn that off and now here's your parcel map with the, our walking path that we went on in the field. The key here is to save at this point. So over here is the save and open uh, button, save as and you're going to call this uh, perhaps your last name I'll call mine uh, gravy and don't put an apostrophe s in there by the way gravy um, redlining data map something to that effect call it whatever you want and um, you can add a summary map for collecting field data about properties and save it okay so now that this has been saved we want to open it in field maps in order to do that we need to click on in the upper left hand corner on these three lines and go back to content at the top of your content list should be your most recent creation which is the web map I called mine gravy redlining data map click on the link and we want to open this in field maps designer so click on open in field maps designer field maps designer allows us to create a survey that people can use in the field map apps so that survey is called forms so click on that and then click on gravy or your parcel package layer that's the one that we want to be able to configure a survey for so the first thing you need in your survey is some information so over here under layout grab click and drag info into the pop-up window and then you need to give it some information so I have some instructions in here use this form to assess the characteristics of selected parcels select your property parcel parcels using a random or stratified sample please rate or evaluate at least 10 parcels per block using at least four of the five observation tools in the survey instrument below. You can write whatever you want in there. You are creating instructions for your survey team to go into the field. Um, you can rename the title something like um, Neighborhood Assessment Tool name it whatever you want click save and it's going to give you um, an error down here at the bottom unable to save and the, the reason is because it doesn't have a global ID but now it does and so you can click save to map and the form is now saved now click back down here and let's add uh, some other stuff now you can take from the fields that are already in your map and drag them in. So I'm going to drag address over there. And so when you're standing in front of an address and you click on the point or the parcel in the, on the map, you will be able to see the address. I don't want this to be editable. So I'm going to click on it and uncheck editable and uh, you may um, give your surveyor some indication something like uh, make sure you are assessing this address 
So they will know when they're standing in front of there that that's the correct address. Now, this is the important part, which is I want you to include several different elements in your, in your data collection form. So for example, um, you could have uh, a number, um, a numerical evaluation, and I will call this one Windows and it automatically creates the window name and so the description this is the instructions to the data collector and it would be something like um, count the number of windows facing the street and enter the value below and you can create a range for that and so I suppose you could have a house with zero windows and some of those houses we looked at were pretty big and fancy. They might have as many as 20 or I'll even put in here 30 um, windows. That's uh, the editing the range keeps people from accidentally entering something like 300. So that's good. Let's have uh, another, let's do a combo box. And with the combo box, that would be something like um, cracks in sidewalk and description uh, count the number of, and we'll create a list and we'll call that smooth for no cracks. And we can add um, three or four of these, maybe five. It's sort of a Liker style thing. Um, minimal, average, above average, crazy sidewalk, something like that. Click continue, done, and continue. And now they have a drop down menu. Remember to save here once in a while. And let's add one more. I click down here. And let's add some radio buttons to it. Um, and we might add uh, one other field. So this one is the type of car in the driveway. Again, something you probably couldn't quite use, but it's a good example. Um, and then we could create a list of car types, um, Ford, Volkswagen, and let's get fancy, put a Ferrari in the driveway. You get the point. Click continue, and now you have at least there's three. I'd like you to have five different ones in there. Make sure that there's at least a, um, a numeric one, a kind of drop down menu one, a radio button type, and you can also use a single line or multi line sort of open ended question if you want. Experiment with it a little bit, but when you're done, you know, click save to the map. And now your layer will have these new variables baked into the, the tool. The last thing that you need to do here after it's been saved is to go to sharing. And you, you want to um, turn the sharing on with at least the organization or temporarily with the public so I can see it for your assignment, got to update the sharing now. So for the assignment, I need to have that QR code so I can open it in my app and be able to see what you did. So put that QR code on a Word document or just even a JPEG and that's what you will upload for the assignment. That concludes this video tutorial.